Hello, Christ is in our midst. I'm Father Kevin Long of St. Elias, St. Elias Orthodox Church in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Today is Tuesday, February 1st, 1st, 2022, and here are the readings for today. The first reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 8, verses 28 through 39. Brethren, we know that everything works for good with those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. For those whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, in order that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. And those whom he predestined, he also called. And those whom he called, he also justified. And those whom he justified, he also glorified. What then shall we say to this? If God is for us, who is against us? He who did not spare his own Son, but gave him up for us all, Will he not also give us all things with him? Who shall bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies, who is to condemn. It is Christ Jesus, who died, yes, who was raised from the dead, who is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, for thy sake we are being killed all the day long. We are regarded as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. And today's Gospel reading is from the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 10, verses 19 through 21. The Lord said to his disciples, Behold, I have given you authority to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all power over the enemy, and nothing shall hurt you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this. The spirits are subject to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. In that same hour he rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and the understanding and revealed them to babes. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. So continuing in our readings from St. Nikolai Velarmirovich in his prologue to Ohrid. Today's poem, a hymn of praise, is Christ the Golden Tree. A golden branched tree grew with three golden branches on it. There are white birds, white, white as snow. And the birds fell down deep. The glowing, glowing golden tree remained. The tall tree in the depths, death and darkness, dark and becoming darker, malice and hunger, sorrow and grief, Insanity, delirium, the birds in the blackness of pitch were immersed, never again able to soar to the heights. The golden tree took pity on the unfortunate birds, and a secret conversation began among the branches. Then one branch bent over to the terrible abyss and raised the nest of birds to the top of the mountain. Thus Christ, the golden branch, bent towards the earth, and raised fallen man to the glory of the Trinity. And now the golden tree grows with three golden branches. On it are white birds, white, white as snow. Today's reflection. The prayer of St. Trifon before his death. O Lord God of gods and King of kings, the most holy of all holies, I thank you that you made me worthy to complete my mortification without faltering. And now I pray to you that the hand of the invisible demon does not touch me, that the demon does not drag me into the abyss of destruction. Rather, let your holy angels lead me into your beautiful dwelling place and make me an heir of your desired kingdom. Receive my soul and hearken to the prayer of all those who would offer sacrifices to you in remembrance. Gaze upon them from your holy dwelling place and grant them abundant and incorruptible gifts. For you are the only good and merciful gift giver unto the ages of ages. Amen. 
Since Trifon suffered in Nicaea, and since many miracles occurred over his lifeless body, the citizens of Nicaea wanted to bury Trifon in their cemetery. But the saint appeared in a vision and expressed his desire to be translated to his village of Lampsacus, where he once tended geese to be buried there. And for today's contemplation, to contemplate the Lord Jesus as the fresh and healthy air of the soul, air, A-I-R, of the soul. As the fresh and healthy air by which the soul breathes and is saved from corruption. As the fresh and healthy air which the prophets, apostles, and saints inhaled and were healthy in soul. As the fresh and healthy air of my soul which drives out the stench of sin in me and makes me fresh and healthy in soul. And may God bless and keep all of you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. And thank you very much for joining me today. I pray that you have a great day. And God willing, we'll see you tomorrow.